Thank you for logging on to the podcast for the week of Monday, May 1st through Friday the 5th. Hello, I'm Mr. Andrews, and it is time for some Paul Bill news. This week in math, we're going to continue developing our table of contents in our math journal. As we do this, students get a chance to review and look back at each lesson and then evaluate themselves honestly by putting a one, two, or a three uh, beside each of the lessons. And this is an honest evaluation that only the student can give themselves as to whether they need a little bit more help or if they feel pretty good and fine with that particular concept that was taught. The good thing about our math journal is it was and still is our textbook. So there are lots of examples as well as all the things we arrived at as far as rules and ideas and thoughts. So the math journal really should be a great asset through the remainder of the school year. In science this week, we begin with a science interim assessment on Monday morning. And students will be taking that. We'll continue the rest of our week with our study about physical and chemical changes. And we'll also review heat transfer one more time and then have an assessment probably before the end of this week. In ELA, students know to continue reading 30 minutes each night. That is so important to be able to do. So where am I this week in the United States? Well, here's a picture of the state capitol. Another clue is that the first telephone book was published and used in this state. Cattle branding began in this state when farmers were required by state law to mark all of their pigs. Yale University ranks as one of the world's greatest and richest universities. You know, right up there with Western Carolina. I'm kind of kidding in a way. But Yale University is located in this state. Eli Whitney, he's the guy who manufactured the cotton gin, which helped to revolutionize the economy of the southern states right around the Civil War period. Well, he was born in this state, and he also developed the cotton gin in 1793. Some famous people that were born in this state were Benedict Arnold, P.T. Barnum of the Barnum and Bailey Circus, Charles Goodyear, who helped to vulcanize rubber, and Mark Twain. Those folks were born in this state. I need for you to correctly identify the state capital and spell this state's name correctly. Also, get your mom and dad to initial this bonus answer Hopefully that initial means they listen to this podcast as well. If they didn't, tell on them. Where is Mr. Andrews? He's in the U.S. He's at a capital. Which one will we learn about this week? Let's all have a great week together and let's all get the big ball.